Welcome to my off-site studio here on the south shores of Boston, Massachusetts. Actually, I'm in Hall, and many of you are probably familiar with that because I've done a lot of on-location uh, vlogs uh, in Hall uh, in regards to my photography. But today I am on an actual project, project site that I wanted to share with you. And I consider it, uh, I consider bring, I, I think of this as bringing my studio onto a project site itself. And if you've been following my studio Facebook account, and if you've been following my Surface Design Facebook account, you will notice that two different things are now emerging. Uh, Matthias Studios focuses on my artwork specifically, and Surface Design focuses in on projects like the one I'm on here. And I consider this project a, a project that involves architectural finishing. That's what Surface Design is going to, that's what it's going to all be about. Architectural finishing within residential homes. What does that mean? Well, it means it's just not a regular paint job. It requires an artistic vision, a design vision, uh, and a high level of craftsmanship, quite, quite frankly. Uh, artisanship, you know, I, I call it artists, artist centric design or artist centric architectural finishing and this banister which is right on the edge of the shot i know is a prime example of what our architectural finishing is all about we're not just going to paint this banister we're going to bring this banister, and what we're doing is we're bringing this entire, this, what, I'm, what I am in is your typical uh, 1900s, early 1900s, uh, if not late 1800s, your typical Cape Cod summer cottage. It wasn't built to be a full-time home. It is now, but at one time it wasn't. It was pretty much a summertime cottage. And so it's an old structure. It has a lot of detailed features in it, like this banister. The ceiling above me is all rafter work. All the windows are trimmed. The doors are all trimmed out. I mean, just look at the stairwell right here. This is just, the whole house is breathtaking. And that's why I wanted to give this shot in the stairwell. So what we're doing is bringing all this back to life. And what that entails is a vision, first of all. Second, secondly, it requires the proper materials. It, re it requires the proper prep work. It requires the proper application. And it requires the proper finish work to bring these surfaces back to life. And this cottage, when this cottage is done, it's going to be life-giving. So I was talking about this banister. This banister, as you can see, has been heavily sanded down, like every single surface in this cottage, from ceiling to trim work to the walls. Uh, anything that's going to be covered over architecturally with a finish has been heavily sanded down to bring out these beautiful features, which once the application is applied to this, it's just gonna pop out. And then we have three different surface sheens that are going to be applied throughout this cottage. We have a matte sheen, which will go on the walls. We have a satin sheen for the ceilings, and we have a super high gloss sheen for all the trim work itself with uh, ball and fish. Uh, the color is elephant breath. 
So I just wanted to give you a recap of where I am this week and where I'm going to be in the next two weeks into the next future. And I'll be periodically updating this project and you will see more and more that this project will come to life and it's going to give the homeowner, she'll, she will become, she will breathe in new life herself because her home is going to be breathing it also. So until next time, stay creative and we'll keep in touch.